So recently, there was a new conference in Portland, Oregon. Well, it's not that new. It was founded in 2012. I'd never heard about it until today. But it's a place where artists who live and work online can get together and have a conference. Guess who gave a speech at one of their panels? Kim Blair from Sweet Baby Inc. 21-minute video, and it's very, very interesting. A lot of interesting things in this 21 minutes. I'm not going to go over this for this video. I'm just going to kind of summarize it because i got some other things that I want to talk about regarding Sweet Baby. But the biggest thing that I found in here is that video game companies are still very, very eager to work with Sweet Baby Inc. Just not publicly. They don't want people to know, which is probably why... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> the website has been redesigned. Well, we're going to talk about that. But yeah, learning that, not shocking. It's going to take a few more Kill the Justice Leagues to bring the video game market down to its knees. We need a couple more Concords, a couple more Assassin's Creed Shadows, and then I think you'll finally see, and it's going to take a couple of years, but you finally see these studios try to walk a lot of this shit back. Well, it's really crazy to me. Well, not I guess not so crazy. It's her trying to play off a lot of the BlackRock stuff and bringing companies to their knees when she specifically said in a video, and we have this and we've all seen it, where she talked about how you need to go to your he- human resources and, and call out people and make them know the value of their company and what they can bring to the table, or uh, you just cancel them. So she tries to downplay all that. She doesn't even address it. She just says that people are crazy for thinking that that's a real thing, which I find funny considering all anybody did was use her own words, videos of her saying things. <laughs> that's what makes it so so wild. So criticism, of course, is uh, very, very bad. No one should dare question uh, the, the paragons that work over at Sweet Baby. All of them are just the best people ever. Uh, they're not trying to make games woke. And it's what's what's funny is at the beginning, she she kind of opens up with that as a joke. Like, everyone says we're making all of the games woke. The entire room claps and cheers. I thought that was funny. But keep in mind where this conference takes place, which <laughs> shouldn't surprise anybody that those communists would cheer and clap to her trying to wokeify the entire gaming industry. So we will watch this entire 21-minute press panel, whatever she considers this, because she knows that the press is going to pick this up. It's only 21 hours old, disabled by owner, likes and dislikes, by the way, and comments are turned off. But uh, she knows that this is going to make the rounds. You're going to see Kotaku and Polygon covered first, because, of course, and then the gamer and so on and so on. But tomorrow... On Flashcast, 10.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we will watch this entire thing, among other things. But it's it's actually a very interesting video. So we'll watch that. But for now, check it out. Another one, Game Devs of Color Expo. (laughs) There's another one she did. Uh, Let's see. So. Sweet Baby Inc. redesigns its website to remove client and game list as well as hide its woke agenda. Because they're, they're a good company. Uh, some, in that video, that 21-minute video, she praises Spider-Man 2 and talks about how great the work is that they did in that game. You know, uh, the missions where you <laughs> take a complete break from fighting crime and solving puzzles and moving the, the, for, the story forward to help a young gay couple uh, get their dates to prom ready. It was one of the worst missions I've ever played. No, I take that back. The worst mission in the game is where you play as that death chick. Oh, it's so awful. You play as this death chick. Though you can't hear anything. It's like 20 minutes long. It's so frustrating because the entire time, you're just like, I just want this to end. Why am I doing this? You run around spray painting shit. It's like, I want to play as Spider-Man. And I have the same complaint as for the Mary Jane 
splinter cell missions. <laughs> I don't like those either. But they're so determined to put the, all this garbage in the game. And by the way, how bad did they shaft Miles Morales in that game? You know, in the Spider-Verse movies and in the comics, he gets to hang out with Gwen Stacy's spider ghost. In this game, they give her like a chubby death chick. <laughs> Talk about downgrading. So they're removing everything, changing the website. Not a surprise because, well, studios are probably asking them to do that because they still want to work with her, according to this video that she put out, this 21-minute panel that she did at XOXO Festival. Uh, she still is getting a lot of work from studios. A lot of studios still wanting to work with that sweet, sweet baby. They just don't want you to know about it. They don't want you to see that they're working with sweet, sweet baby. So here's the actual website, and it's been completely redesigned, as you can see here. You can contact them. Here's the logo. You click on it. It just takes you to this where they talk about script writing. And there's a couple of games still on here that they're proud of. Uh, God of War Ragnarok, <laughs> Suicide Squad. <laughs> We worked on script writing. How did it work out for you with that game? Uh, God of War Ragnarok. Didn't even know they worked on that till after the fact. Probably why this one is shitty compared to the first one. The good one that we got. Uh, I didn't like Ragnarok. In fact, I didn't even finish it. The, the one that came out before it that they didn't work on, that one was great. I liked that one a lot. Uh, this one, I kind of thought it sucked. Maybe I'm alone on that, but I didn't like this one. And then you find out they worked on it, and it's like, oh, that's why. And this one I'll never understand, the Crew Motor Fest. What do you need DEI consultants on a race car game for? Like, what is <laughs> You're looking at cars the entire time. What do, you, what do you need Woke Agenda for in Motor Fest? That's so stupid. Alan Wake 2 lost money. Uh, Spider-Man 2, I think, did damage to that, to that brand. I, I do wonder how well Spider-Man 3 like, sells. Uh, also, Wolverine, which you know they're still working with Sweet Baby with that game. That game's probably going to be shit. Can't wait to see how ugly Jean Grey is in it. Uh, but they've hidden everything. Everything's hidden. The client list is gone. Uh, you can email them. That's it. Really interested in working with us? No. No, I'm not. But, uh, yeah, they've hidden everything. So I think going forward, you're just not going to know who they're working with until credits roll on the game. You'll say, well, man, this game kind of sucked ass. And then you'll see Sweet Baby in the credits. Oh, <laughs> that's why it sucks. <laughs> anyway, let me know what you guys think about all of this. Uh, how do you feel about Sweet Baby still getting lots of work, still lots of interest uh, from developers uh, wanting to work with them? What are your thoughts on that? Also, if you would, please like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. And uh, hit that notification bell. And as always, we'll see you on the next one. Peace.